What's up guys, it's Ruby Hay and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, I'm filming a productive day in my life and I started this morning with making my bed. I think that making your bed starts the tone for a really productive day. And then I made some coffee and I sorted some piles of laundry. I'm a little bit behind on laundry and I like to sort all of mine just so I can see how many loads I need to do and there are a few loads I need to do. So definitely going to be getting caught up on laundry today. But I wanted to say a big thank you to Anna Louisa for sponsoring today's video. I got some new pieces in the mail from them and they are these earrings. So I got these heart dangly gold earrings and then I also got these like diamond huggies and they are super cute. I love wearing stacked earrings. I think that it just helps elevate the look and no matter like what you're wearing or how your hair is. And Anna Luisa is doing their Valentine's Day sale right now. So it's 15% off all of their pieces. So these hearts and these huggies are both $59 originally. But with their discount, they're $50 each, which is a really good deal. And I think that jewelry is such a great gift. You could totally get it for a friend, a family member, and you can also get it for yourself. So if there is no one to get you a Valentine's Day gift, then you should treat yourself to some earrings. You can be matching with me and get these ones and I love the little heart ones I don't know why but I'm just so obsessed with heart jewelry and I think the reason is because my mom started out with getting me like hearts and my grandparents and I just think that the message behind wearing a heart is like my heart is always with you so I always feel like whenever I wear hearts like my family and friends are like always with me and so that's why I like to wear the heart ones but Anna Luisa is a really great company. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions and I just really love all their jewelry and it's reasonably priced. It ranges from like $39 and goes up from there. So I definitely recommend going on their website, checking out all their pieces and then getting something. Again, their discount is 15% off all their pieces for Valentine's Day. So again, big thank you to them for sending me these ones. But I'm just gonna carry on with the rest of the day and hopefully we're super productive today. So I just got one load of laundry in. I have a couple other loads I need to do down here. So I wanna wash these pajamas in this set separately and then I have a load of darks that I need to do. But I have some trash I need to take out. I need to hang my coats up in my room. I also realized when I was putting my laundry in there that I'm kind of running low on laundry soap, so I should go to the store and get laundry soap today. I also want to do like a workout. I did shoulders yesterday though for my workout and so my upper body is feeling a bit sore. So I could do legs today, but I think I'm just gonna do um, Lauren Geraldo's 12 3 30. I really like doing that on days when I don't want to like do weights. I think it's a good workout and it helps to just like move your body. I think there's so much to be said for moving your body. It's so important to just like walk and get some movement in and my mom is really good at that so she always encourages me and I'm encouraging you move your body so I'll probably do the workout earlier in the day so I can get that kind of out of the way. Yeah, I think I should do that. I like to eat before I work out. So I'll probably have some breakfast and then I'll change and do the workout. I think that's the plan. And then um, I have errands that I need to run. <laughs> and one of the errands that I know you guys are gonna love is a grocery haul <laughs> I need groceries and sometimes I get people who comment and they're like you buy groceries all the time and 
well I just always buy groceries the day that I vlog because I want to be able to show you guys what I'm buying and do grocery hauls so I usually save going to the grocery store like if I need to go get something I'll go get it but I usually like to do like big grocery hauls when I can do it with you guys so that's why it probably seems like I buy groceries all the time but really I just buy groceries on days that I film <laughs> about to have my breakfast this is overnight oats and I've been loving having this for breakfast and then I just wrote out a little list of what I need to get done today so I definitely recommend writing lists out to be productive I'm just gonna do some emails eat my fruit and then I'll go do a workout Hi, Christine. I was just calling to see if you could check the status of my order. Yeah, sure. Let me pull up the order. So I just called Pottery Barn about my dresser. And I guess it's um, going to be coming on February 8th. So I showered and did my makeup. I obviously dried my hair as well and I'm just doing a fun little hairstyle but I wanted to share with you guys. I know that a lot of people have been asking for like a hairstyles video so maybe I'll do that at some point but so here you can see I have just two ponytails on my head. It's really self-explanatory like you just section it and do two sides. But now I feel like this part is the part where people will have questions because I think today, make sure it's good in the back. It's pretty good. I think today I have left it like this where it's just two ponies and then you're good. But I think I'm going to do buns on my head. So I like to use the little hair ties and I just have these little black ones. I want to get clear ones. But so basically, I'm just going to take one of these pigtails and I'm going to wrap it around until it gets smaller. See, so I've wrapped it. Oh my gosh. I need to organize my bathroom so bad. So I take a rubber band and I just... Secure it a couple of times. And then if you can see like the rubber band right here, I just like to tuck this under. Okay, so there's one. And now to straighten out the bottom of my hair just like these pieces so here the ends are straightened out and that is gonna be my little hairstyle today but there are some productive days where I don't get ready and then there are other productive days like today where I get ready I do my hair and makeup and that makes me feel good so I am now gonna go run some errands and then when I get back I can like fold all my laundry. The full OOTD, we got a long sleeve turtleneck top, my favorite jacket currently, these oversized gray joggers, my Air Force Ones with some tall socks, and obviously the little space buns. So I made a quick lunch, I was being very indecisive today as you can tell. But on this toast, I did peanut butter with blueberries and cinnamon. And then on this toast, I did pesto with the Miyoko's mozzarella cheese and grape tomatoes. And then I just broiled it in the oven, topped with balsamic glaze and some pepper. I'm just going to eat my little indecisive lunch. Heck yeah! They literally had a parking spot for me. <laughs> This is perfect. <laughs>
Whole Foods and I'm gonna try to vlog this as much as I can for you guys. They finally have the Oatly Barista Blend Edition, so I'm gonna get this. You guys, is this a joke? No more Forger yogurt? What the heck? Okay, well, I think we're gonna go with the Kite Hill Original. Oh my gosh, I cannot get this out. So we'll get that. I could get the little ones, but it's a better price if you go for the big one. So I'm gonna get this. I've also been seeing a lot of people eat the Cocolio, is that how you say it, by GT's. And this is the same brand as my favorite kombucha. So I think I'm gonna get one of these and try this out too. My Whole Foods doesn't have the Sweet Lauren's um, I think they're the sugar cookies and the oatmeal ones, so I'm just gonna go with the the chocolate chunk. These ones are my favorite. I do like the fudge brownie one, but I do feel like they're a little bit too chocolatey, so I'm just gonna get another one of these for Bachelor Mondays. So this is like the dairy-free vegan section, and this is where I get like my cheeses. They have the Kite Hill cream cheese, which I don't like as much, so I'm gonna get the Miyoko's cream cheese. I wanna eventually get the Everything Bagels from Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna get this. I know I said I wanna try the Trader Joe's bread, but this is just so good to have on hand. It's frozen, and this is the Food for Life English muffins. And then I might as well just get the loaf while I'm here. Just need to get some eggs, just check to make sure they're not cracked. I really like this beefless ground beef, it's by Gardein. They're out of the Siete burrito size wraps. When I kind of wanted to get that one, or I wanted to get the almond flour one, but they're out of that. So they have the chickpea flour one, or the, I don't know how to say that, cassava flour. So I think I'm just gonna go with this one. Also have to get my kombucha. I'm just gonna, oh that one's kind of sticky. I'm gonna get two of the guava one. I know I basically showed you everything when I was shopping, but we'll do a quick grocery haul. So I got organic large brown eggs, the barista blend oatly oat milk, Kite Hill yogurt, the original one, and this is an almond milk yogurt, whereas the Forager is a cashew milk yogurt. And then kombucha. Also got the Miyoko cream cheese, and make sure when you get this to get the plain one. I have accidentally gotten the lox one, and I don't like that. It's like a, I don't know, fish kind of one, and it's not good. And then the Gardein Beefless Ground Beef, Sweet Lauren's Chocolate Chunk Cookies. I love having these on Bachelor Mondays. And then gluten-free brown rice English muffins. And, oh wait, this is the multi-seed. And then this is the brown rice bread, tortillas, and then the Cocoyo yogurt. I'm anxious to try this one out. So I got the eggs in my little egg crates. And I know that a lot of people have been concerned for my well-being with the cell date. <laughs> and I have an Excel document for like my pop containers, so that's easy to remember all of the dates. I could get a label maker for sure. But another thing you can do, take a pair of scissors and you just cut off the little label. So here it is. And then you can just leave this in the fridge. You could also like stick it under one of the eggs and then now you won't ever forget when the cell date is. So I'm just gonna show you my fridge. So I have my milks up here, and then I already had my fruit cut up. 
added my yogurt, my eggs up here. And then I bought these at Costco also. They are the Trident Protein Noodles made with Pollock. And these are really, really good. They last until May. It says May 13th on these. So I bought two boxes. But they have 10 grams of protein per serving. So I'm probably going to have those for dinner tonight. And then I'll just have it with my pesto. Whoops, almost dropped that. But the Miyoko's is my favorite cream cheese that's dairy free forager is usually my favorite dairy free yogurt i'm gonna try out this one so i'll update you and then kite hill is another one of my favorite dairy free yogurts and then these are my favorite cheeses so i've been really liking the biolife cheddar slices these are good if you want to do like cheese and crackers or these are also good for making grilled cheese and then I have the BioLife mozzarella shreds, and this is the one I usually use when I make like pizzas. I also really like the Follow Your Heart Parmesan, and this one I'll use with like my Caesar salads or spaghetti, things like that. And then I also love the Miyoko's um, mozzarella or um, block, and this one I'll also put on pizza or. I'll use this one for like my pesto toast. And then the other one in here is just like another bag of the BioLife mozzarella shreds. And you can also use this on like tacos, but you can use all these on so many different things. Those are just a couple of examples. Just so you guys know, my favorite dairy-free butter is the Miyoko's one. So that's some of my favorite kind of just like dairy-free options. And that is my organized in clean fridge. I have so much laundry to fold. I'm not even kidding you. This is three full loads because I did towels early today. Then I did whites, then I did darks, and then I did my black set. I still need to wash my pink pajamas, but... <sighs> so, it is time to just get started. Move all of this over here. So back when I filmed my apartment, it was my first apartment, like empty apartment tour. My mom was the one behind the camera filming it. And I thought it would be really fun when I do my furnished apartment tour to have my mom be the one behind the camera again and valentine's day is coming up and so she said that she could come out to vegas and help me film my furnished apartment tour and then we could do like something girls night or whatever for valentine's day i don't know if she'll actually come over valentine's day but she's gonna come and we'll do something to like celebrate valentine's day together so I'm really excited because she was super game for coming back and then filming my furnished apartment tour with me. So that'll be even more fun. So tonight we are going to look at flights and see when the best time for her to come would be. And she would just rather fly because it's so much faster. The flight is like 40 minutes rather than her driving all the way here, which takes like four and a half hours. And so she's gonna fly to me <laughs> probably, I guess it's in like within the next two weeks. And I, I feel like I, I talk about like my family and my parents all the time on my channel. I especially like talk about my mom a lot and it's honestly just because I cherish and value the relationships that I have with them so incredibly much and I think that it's really important to value the relationships that you have with the people in your life and honestly I think that having a close relationship with your parents is cool and it's something that I really appreciate like I'm so glad that I'm really good friends with my parents like they're not just my parents and so just want to share that 
if you're close with your parents, your friends, your family, your siblings, I think that you should reach out to them, tell them how much you appreciate them, how much you value them, and remind them that you love them. All clean and sorted, so I got all the shirts and bodysuits and tops I need to hang up, my pajamas, I have sweatpants and sweatshirts that need to get hung up, jeans, socks, underwear, and then towels that need to get put away. So, I can start getting this all put in my closet. I have all my clothes color-coded, but I, at some point, want to kind of reorganize it so all the clothes are literally just by color whereas I'd rather do like oversized t-shirts and then color code that and then like bodysuits and color code that so that I have more of like sections because I feel like this is not as organized as I would like it definitely looks aesthetic but I think that if I could Kind of do a little bit of smaller sections and then color code it that would be better i mean i could do it right now but i think i'll probably do that i'll probably do that on the day that i get my dresser because then i'll figure out what clothes I actually want hung up, what clothes I want in my dresser, and then I might keep the bins that I have in here as well. I don't know, I think getting the dresser will help more. So, we'll just leave it like this for now. I feel productive, but not that productive. <laughs> So excited about these oh my gosh I know they're gonna be so cute oh yeah I didn't tell you so if you guys saw my uh, what I eat in a day video I ordered these glasses from Crate and Barrel and I just do order pickups so I don't have to pay for shipping because it's really not that far away and I bought two different kinds of glasses but I'm pretty sure only one of them was ready the other ones are coming in maybe a week. So I just picked up the first set of glasses. Oh my gosh, I am in love. These are so cute. Okay, so let's open them all. Put the paper on the floor. literally obsessed with these. I'm gonna wash all these and put them away. Actually, what I decided first, so I didn't do this for my other cups, but I did this for the containers in my cabinet, and I wanna get all of the stickers off the bottom, and they're kinda like hard to get off because they're really stuck, so if you just heat them, with your hair dryer, they get off really easily. And then when you go to peel it, it just comes right off. So I'll take off all the stickers and then I'll wash them. So right now I have six mugs in this 
shelf of the white ones. So I'm thinking we'll go going to do this probably won't use these ones as much anymore so I'll just leave two white ones and then the four clear ones and then I'll just take the leftover white ones that I'm probably not going to use and put them all the way up there <laughs> so I'll just leave it like that for now got the trash taken out and then I forgot to show you what I got at Costco so I obviously got my Tide Original Detergent, so I can put oh, this in here, and then I can probably get one more load out of that, and then I'll throw that one away, I'm waiting for this to dry. And then the other two things I got are the clam chowder, this is the Safe Harvest brand dairy-free clam chowder. It is so good. I'm telling you guys, it tastes amazing. It's dairy-free. There's 12 grams of protein in it. It's whole wild-caught clams, but I love clam chowder, and this one tastes like very similar to clam chowder to me. And then I also got the Starbucks medium roast K-cups for my Keurig, and just need to put these away. I'm gonna start making dinner and I really wanna have the Trident Pollock noodles tonight. So my olive oil needs to get filled up, so I should do that. But I'm just gonna start by heating up some olive oil. So I'm just adding the zucchini now to the hot oil. And I'm just going to saute that. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to it as well. My mom bought me these little like gadgets when we were in Arizona at Crate and Barrel. I forgot to show you guys the oil one, but you use it to spread the oil. Now I'm just going to flip my zucchini. It's so cute. I love using this. I'm going to do one pack of noodles. I'm adding a teaspoon of water. And then I'm just setting the timer on my phone for two minutes because I want to make sure I don't overcook them. So now I'm just going to add in, oh my gosh it's dripping, but the vegan cashew and kale basil pesto. I'm also just gonna mix in my zucchini. This took probably like five minutes to make. <laughs> it was so easy and there's so much protein in these noodles. Ooh, Julian Hunter uploaded their Nashville empty house tour, so I'm gonna watch that. I think it's nice to change it up. I like having noodles a lot, but it's good to have a different kind of noodle and I've only seen these at Costco, so if you don't have a Costco membership, I don't really know what to tell you because I've only bought them there, but they are really good. Finished eating and then I cleaned up the kitchen and I've also been editing and working on getting a video uploaded for tomorrow, but I also ordered these Palo Santo sticks from Amazon and I have this little bowl on my coffee table, so I wanted to add these. I don't really know if this is the best bowl, but that's all I have. I want a light one. I have these matches from Crate and Barrel. So you just light the match and then burn the end of it. But these burn like incense and then you just blow it out and you can enjoy the uh, smoke smell. 
Well, that was fun. <laughs> but I basically got everything done that I needed to do today. I checked everything off my list and I feel very accomplished. So that's always a great feeling. And I also wanted to remind you guys to check out Anna Louisa's Valentine's Day sale. It is 15% off all their pieces in case you want to get anything for yourself or for someone else for Valentine's Day. And the link is in my description box. But I am just going to relax and be unproductive for the rest of the evening. But I'm treating myself because I got so much done today. So I am going to close out the video here. But I hope you all enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.